that one of the only times in which it is permissible for a Muslim to lie is to reconcile, to aid reconciliation between people that are feuding. The Prophet ﷺ said that a Muslim can lie on three occasions. One is in warfare, al harb al The second is one can lie to a spouse if that lie will preserve the tenderness that exists between them and the spouse, or the lie will prevent their feelings from being harmed or injured. So if one of us is asked, is my cooking better than your mother's cooking? Of course it's better. Since marrying you, I don't even think about my mother's cooking. Right? If one of us is asked, darling, how do I look in this suit? I'm going for my interview. You look fantastic in that suit. You're going to get the job, even though she knows you look horrible in that suit. Right? And the third reason a Muslim can lie is to bring peace, be to, you know, to help reconciliation among people that are feuding. So that if Zayd and Amr have some issue between them, one can go to Zayd and say, I just spoke to Amr. He was telling me how much he misses you. He was telling me how some of the best hospitality he ever experienced in his life was at your home. He was telling me how you all used to play basketball together. He was telling me how he wishes that you all could spend more time together. And you can go to Amr. I just spoke to Zayd. He was telling me how much he misses you. He was telling me how he loved when you all would camp together and do other outings together. And even though neither one of them has ever said anything like that about the other. When they encounter each other, this will help to break the ice. Zayd will say, you know, I heard some of the things that you said about me. And Amr will say to Zayd, I heard some of the things, and neither of them said anything. But when they see that somebody is trying to spread peace, willing to go to the extent of lying just so that we can have islah, bain al-ikhwa, Bringing brothers together, they will then participate in their reconciliation.